really misty out here. Another the change. <laughs> SeaWorld, home of Tilikum, the uh, killer whale. You know the one we mean. Yeah, I feel a little bit bad being here because Blackfish was a horrendous, horrendous documentary to watch. And uh, if you haven't seen it, go see it. It's, it's heartbreaking. And uh, yeah, we just won't buy anything while we're here. We'll just ride the rides and bugger off. I think that's the plan. We were wondering how we would remember whose is whose which ticket. Obviously, it's all fingerprinted now and everything. Uh, so I've got the lovely little penguins, um, and Richard's got the classic Sea World one of a man strangling a dolphin. Every time I come here, I always think I wish I'd watched Jaws three before I came here because they filmed bits of it here and bits of it in the one in uh, San Diego, is it? Wherever. So. Doesn't that mean they've killed a shark at SeaWorld? <laughs> well, it, to be fair, it was killing people. The Manta Q has mantas. Ooh. Anyway, careful of the mystical hanging or wet floor. Uh. Well, uh, I think we need a wet floor sign sign. Why does that one look really smug? Because <laughs> it's not a stinger, because it's not a manta. Because I'm better than you. <laughs> I have dimensions, look. I have three of them. Giant carfish? Well, that closed. Um, oh well, we can probably go on it later. Oh well. Well, it wasn't without meeting the rudest man in the world first. Yes, yeah, standing there waiting to go up to it for like five minutes, and then he just turned around and went, It's closed. Okay, thanks for oh, telling how, us. How, 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 how are we meant to know mm. unless you tell us, the person that stood there, to tell us? We have been in the queue looking at the aquarium for the last five minutes, so. Oh. <laughs> yeah, okay, I'm just gonna show you this sign. I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna comment. Case of penguins. <laughs> oh, 
dogs had a release full of tigers. <laughs> okay, so SeaWorld merchandise. You know, it's what you'd expect in this place. Penguins, all that kind of stuff. All over there. And, then, and then all of a sudden. Huh? <laughs> I don't understand. Oh my god, it's a butler for me. It's a. <laughs> Can you key on that? Oh, there we go. Uh, 17,039 kilometers. Which is six miles, seven miles. <laughs> it's not working either. Good. The weather's terrible. It's not working. Oh, the battery's going as well. Damn you, battery! Attempt number two. This happened last time. Yeah, the weather was so bad they closed all the rides. It might be terrible weather by the time that we walk through that door. That's, that's Florida. Yeah, that, that awful inclement weather of uh, warmth and humidity. Just a killer. Yeah, no, I, I kind of like that ride just because it's different. James doesn't so much. He just doesn't get it. He, he just doesn't like it. Which is fine. Spoilers. Okay, so, new innovation in uh, vending machines here at SeaWorld. Uh, the solar-powered vending machine. Um, it's not working because there's not enough sun. Yay! Yes. <laughs> Personally, I think it's a conspiracy by the uh, big energy corporations. If they show that solar power doesn't work, then they'll just think, oh, let's just get a coal-powered, uh, natural gas-powered vending machine in there instead. <laughs> yeah, it'll work fine. Steam billowing out the back, it'd be great. Ste Ste Bless America. <laughs> Steampunk vending machines. <laughs> oh my god, I want... Covered in copper. <laughs> with huge cogs, that'd be amazing. <laughs> okay. I was kind of hoping that somebody might actually be able to explain these to me. I mean, what the hell are dipping dots? I mean, we've bought some, but we don't understand what they are. All they're doing is really making me want a drink. Badly. This <laughs> I don't know. Hey, Rich. Hello. Are you ready to get wild? Yes. What? Guess what my favourite thing about this place is? What? The noise. What? What? Huh? Sorry? What? I'm just... Huh? I heard a caribou. Looks like they're going in our direction. These sensors detecting what appears to be polar bear activity. We're racing an arctic storm, but I think we have time to take a little side trip. I'll set our rotors to whisper mode so we can get in close. Ah, oh, look at that. The mother and her cubs. Let's leave them be. That storm front is trying to cut us off at the pass. Taking an emergency route. No matter where you go, whether or not you're in the Arctic, 
there's always a gift shop at the end. There, fixed it. Oh, Rich, be careful, it's got your ponytail. <laughs> it's got your ponytail. So, we've kind of been asked if we're going to the lunch tonight at, for Orlando Bear Bash. I've been asked by like three different people whether or not we're going. And... <laughs> it makes me nervous. This one... will be fine. I can just let you do all the talking. Okay. But I'd probably just end up sitting in a corner feeling sorry for myself. I mean, we'd like to do it one time, but I think we just need to know a few more people who are going. Like if certain people were going, maybe we would go. But no one we really like no no. 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 No no. People that we know know no, no. are going, so go go. Um, yeah, it'd have been nice to go, but we're hey, meeting new people. I know. No. <laughs> Ooh, dinner and a show. What kind of show? <laughs> Horror show? <laughs> really? Okay, something I've just seen. They're all about conservers, right? Con Conservation. So they're all about conservation and everything like that and making sure that you take care of the environment. So they go close a shop, close somewhere, finish it up. But they leave the tellies on. Okay, just to prove my point that every aquarium in uh, Florida has at least one clownfish and one whatever the hell Dory was. Look! It's Nemo! It's Dory! It's that guy! And those people. The Village Inn. The place to go where service is not what you want. Uh, so yeah. Ended up going to... the... Orlando Bear Bash... pre-dinner thing. Um... Yeah, it was, it was good. I felt like my uh, stomach was in my mouth half the time. Uh, but I got over it, I guess. Uh, Chris and Teddy were very nice, so we'll see you, hopefully, for Horror Nights. Not that I bet you'll even watch this anyway, so uh, if you do, hello. Hang on. <laughs> <laughs>